this motherfucker right here. Say what? Yo, golly, it's hot in this mug, man. Yo, what's going on, y'all? What it do? Welcome. I'm your boy Jay Heist, as always, on the W L V R. Yo, weekly live video review. Wrong sound effect. Come on. Where's the applause? That's what I'm talking about. Thank y'all for joining us, man. Straight out of Sacramento, California, man. This is what we do every week around 6 o'clock. Last week, if you're able to catch our show, we were down there in Venice Beach live showing you guys all the skaters, all the break dancers, all the lifters on Muscle Beach, and all the beautiful sand and titties hanging out the freaking thong, the kids, all that good stuff. Man! And now I'm here back in Sacramento, California, showing you guys some more Bruno Mars. Requested today by one of our great viewers, Tarno Echo. What's going on, sweetie? <laughs> Straight out of Roseville, California. Tarno said, yo, Jay, I can't get enough of Bruno Mars on your show. Every time I watch it, I like it. But my favorite shows are when you always talk about that sexy mofo from fucking Venus. I'm just kidding, he's from Mars. Bruno it is. And I said, of course we'll talk about fucking Bruno. Fine, fine. Let's talk all about him. Bruno's the man, you got to understand. From here to Japan, back to Amsterdam, and some other foreign land. Everybody loves Bruno. We talked about him last week. I told you his favorite food was chicken adobo. Told you he was born in Waikiki. And I wouldn't plan on And I told you he also got caught up with a little bit of the white girl. And I ain't talking about Becky, okay? Ha! Woo! Boom! But Bruno's back show again for the third time, like I just said, with his song, Perm. What's going on, y'all? How you doing out there, Nate? Holy fucking shit. I'm sorry that I missed your little get-together, brother, but I had some other things to attend to. Lord knows I love you, and Lord knows I do miss your face. Tyler, what's going on, you big old pimp? Hey, where are you guys watching from right now? Go ahead and press a little thumbs up. Press the motherfucking live follow button if you don't know now you do because you want to be able to follow me live. Let me tell you, not just so I can annoy you or entertain you because I'm giving away free shit. I'm talking t-shirts, music, and even vacations because the first two are only okay, but it gets better from there. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, make sure you... Click the live follow feature so you know every time I'm coming on. I appreciate you guys are giving the thumbs up. I got a couple questions that are going to come at the end of the show. And if you guys answer them, the first person to answer correctly might get some free shit from this motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? Boy, last week I was bald and I just, what I did is rub a little coconut oil on my shit. A little bit of Vaseline and some Kool-Aid. It's a secret. It's some secret sauce. And then pow, pow, pow! I grew a dang, I grew a motherfucking pubic hair, a fucking... I don't even know what this is. Lord knows. Thanks for... Are we back? Holy shit! Yo, I don't know what just happened, man, but let me throw a titty out there. For anybody who's still watching, let me know you just saw my titty, and let me get it gross across the bottom. Fantastic. All right, so listen. Woo! Yo, I lost the show, so I had to bring it back. With some more energy, you know what I'm saying? I'ma get it low, boom! I'ma pop up on him, uh, thrust in your face! Woo! Dance that smile. Anyways, man, back to the show. If you didn't know, now you do. Your boy Jay Hart from Sacramento, talking about Cheetos and Camel Toes and Eskimos and everything that rounds it. Oh, all right, like Bruno. Okay, so check this out, man. Holy shit! I can't believe we're losing this show over here, man. Ha! Man, you can finally see. How could it be? Man, woo! So hot in this mug. So let me tell you a little bit about our show for all you first time viewers, all right? Hey, how you doing out there, Ann? Amy, Jamie, Jeremy, Tyler, I appreciate y'all watching. So this is what's going down. On WLVR, the weekly live video review, what we do is we take requests from people or if no one's saying shit, 
I go straight on the BBC, that stands for Billboard Charts, and I see who the top is. Who the top is? You know who are they talking all about? There's got to be somebody in the top 100 that everybody wants me to review and give a little bit of secret info on. So today, for the third fucking time, as I've already mentioned, Bruno Mars seems to be a fan favorite, and that's why I decided. The hell, people aren't buying my music with my bald white ass. Maybe I should grow an afro. Maybe we'll buy my shit then. Tali, what's going on, you big old pimp? It's nice to have you join us. Where are you guys watching us from, man? How many people are in California right now? How many people are on the west side? Let me get a thumbs up for the west side. If you're not on the west side, let me get a heart. Let me get a heart for people laying on the west side. Man, forget all that shit. What you guys want to know is about Bruno Mars. So let me give you guys a little bit of info, okay? This song, Perm, came from his album, 24 Karat Gold. He has performed this song 17 times total. One time back in November 2016, all right? 17 times in 2007, no, 16 times in 2017. I almost got all that confused. I see all the love coming through. That's what's up. Now it's coming through. Now it's coming through. Now it's coming through. So that's what's up. So also, man, this song right here was inspired by James Brown himself. Woo! Made me want to jump back and kiss myself. Man, does anybody know what holiday James Brown died on? If you do, please put it in the comments. And the first person to put it in the comments, I might have a little something special just for you. <laughs> I never had so much hair move all over the place, it's insane. Yo, I see all the love coming through. Hey, Rima, what's going on, you big old pimp? Travis Cortez in the motherfucking building, man. Let me get a West Side for Chuck E. Cheese. If y'all like Chuck E. Cheese, man, that's where it be. My boy, Travis Cortez is over there, pointing his finger, handing out some delicious ass pepperoni pizza, and making sure them kids ain't going nuts in the ball pit. You know what I'm saying? Anyways. So in regards to this fool, he got a little inspired by James Brown. He had his entire band put together this whole ambiance, and he got raspy and did a little spoken word on it, and he's talking about perms and big worms and doing all that kind of thing. And uh, he's also referenced, Bruno Mars that is, James Brown prior to this in another song, this might sound familiar, saying, uh, <clears throat> I'm a dangerous man with some money in my pocket. Come on! I'm a dangerous man with some money in my pocket. Keep up! <laughs> Shit! He's a big James Brown fan, and so am I. Alright? So, <coughs> excuse me, getting a little raspy. Also, in regards to this song, uh, oh yeah, so the first time Bruno Mars has ever performed Perm was in November of 2016, right after he dropped the album back in LA. The most recent time he's performed this damn song is in England, May 3rd, just a couple days ago, all right? This particular song has not made it on the Billboard charts just yet, but I guarantee that it will, okay? Now, listen, what else do we know about this fool, man? All right, in these damn lyrics, he says, he says, girl, you gotta relax. Uh, let me show you what you gotta do. You gotta lay it back, as a matter of fact. That's what he's talking about. He's saying, yo, your attitude got to chill. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so get some perm in this shit and just let it all down. Now, I was a little bit confused about this fact. I thought perms were only curly. Because I, I saw the movie Friday and it said, big perm, I mean big word. And he had curly hair. You see, I don't have any fucking hair. So therefore, I wouldn't know nothing about no perm. But then I've seen Jay Brown, I think with his hair straight. And when he gets, when, when the pimp gets it all straight, it's, you know what I'm saying? I think that's what I do. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Can anybody confirm what the hell a perm is on this dang thing? I don't know. Is this a perm? Did the perms have to be flat? If perms have to be curly, give me thumbs up right now. Give me a whole bunch of thumbs up if you think that perms can only be curly. If you think perms are straight, give me some hearts and show me that perms can only be straight. And let's see if we can solve this madness, all right? Lord, man. I don't know. Okay, well, what else in regards to this? This song, Perm, has over 15 million views on YouTube currently. Dang! It doesn't even have a video. It just has this fool sitting here all still, looking ridiculous like I do, a little bit better with his hair than I am. I mean, I don't know. Some of us look good bald. 
Some of us look good with it all. You know what I'm saying? But I can't recall. Some of us look good small. Some of us look good tall. You feel me? <laughs> Little bit of Dr. Seuss for you. Now, okay. Now, listen. On the Billboard charts, what I like to do is I like to talk about the lyrics. I like to talk about the beat. I like to talk about the feature and then just the overall song. And then I come up with an assessment, okay, on what I think. Because everybody knows I'm the greatest entertainer of all. That's why my website is called thegreatestentertainer.com. Where, if you haven't already, you should go and get yourself a free download. Holy smokes, of the song called Bag of Chips, all right? Because I'm all that in a bag of chips. I'm a player and I'm, I'm a pimp. I'm getting paid and I walk with a limp, all right? So... On this shit, let's go ahead and get into the lyrics, man. He's talking about perms. He's talking about, girl, you gotta relax. He's bringing back James Brown style. As far as I'm concerned, that's mad original. I, I like the metaphor, you know what I'm saying? Relax, girl, like a perm. Take a chill pill. Take a hit from the bomb, you know what I'm saying, girl? I like that, all right? So when it comes to the lyrics, boom, two thumbs up. It only features himself. And Lord knows Bruno Mars is out of this world because it says it in his last name. Boom. Two thumbs up. The orchestra behind it, it's good. It's, it's dance music, man. It's got me moving over here, grooving. I can't wait to turn this back on at the end and just... Oh, bio! Can't wait for all that. It's going to be fantastic. So overall, I'm going to give this motherfucker this right here, okay? Well, first of all, let me explain my system. If it was a shitty song I didn't like it, you guys would see this skinny, brown, disgusting mic coming towards you. This is called the Doody Brown Mic. Now sniff it. Now give it a sniff. Oh, it's nasty as all hell. Now if it's an okay song, I, I was like, okay, 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 okay. And I ain't talking about the racist individuals because we ain't messing with them fools. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the little John, okay, up in this. If it was just okay, but not great, bam, I hit you with the silver mic. But everyone knows what's better than silver. Everyone knows what's better than silver. Go ahead, I'll wait. That's right. Gold! Gold! Gold finger! That's what I'm talking about, man! So I'm gonna give this one right here a gold. Don't believe me, just watch. Woo! I did. I just gave it a gold, baby. Because Bruno Mars is the man. And if you've been on my show three times, what other s can I give you other than the gold? You out of control from your head to your afro, back to your toe. Back your soul, you already know, it's the Weekly Live Video Show. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, so that's what's up. <laughs> Told y'all I got a question for y'all. Let's see if you guys are still paying attention. I see you guys are still on there. Tyler, Ibrima, thanks to y'all for watching. Now listen, here's the question. First of all, I asked, what holiday did James Brown die on? Okay, I'm going to have to go back and check the comments. First person to get that is going to win... That's right, a DTF shirt, down to function, from the greatest entertainer right here, man, free on me, okay? I also got some other questions, man, just some personal shit, like what's your favorite band? I want to know, Tyler, you over here watching, what's your favorite band, bro? Who's your favorite singer? Abrila, who, what's your favorite song right now? I know I've done one for you. You like YG, bro? YG was the shit. My favorite song by him is none other than Mother Donald Trump, boy. Love that song, dog. Tell me what your favorite song is. Tell me what your favorite band is. I want to know. Because next week, I'm going to pick somebody, and I'm going to talk all about you, just like I did Tana, giving out her home address and all that good shit. So, um, thank y'all for watching. Y'all know how I feel about Bruno Mars. You guys know how I feel about showing my chest. And, uh, man, you guys know how I feel about you. One world, one love. I'm out right after I dance to this song. Come on, Bruno. Take it away with me, man. Charlie Bear, man, I'll teach y'all that one later. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, you should see my feet. Like
like mouses right now.